All right, 15s, this is Officer Giordano here for episode number two, vlog season number three. We're going to head down to meet a buddy of mine. He's in Brickle PST. We're going to spend the day with that unit, see what they're doing. All right, so we just left the station. Ah, right, look at these two. Lieutenant Redonda, how are you? What's up, Sarge, Sergeant Marti, hey. how you doing? LT, where are you now? Uh, right now, I'm a field duty lieutenant on the streets. Uh, we got patrol. Do, we're gonna have to do a follow up with you. I know. Uh, I know Nick. He was talking about this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You guys used to ride together too, right? Yes, we did back in the day. Oh, we got to do. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. We're gonna have to get Nick on this one with you. Yeah, that'll All be right. great. All, All right, right brother. LT. Good seeing you. I'll okay. See you, Sarge. How are we going? All right, looks like my ride just got here. Hey, you following me? I'm following you. The first the Grove, now what? That's you're gonna it. follow me in Brickle? I gotta follow you in Brickle, man. Let's see, do see it. that problem? All right, 15s, I'm over here with Officer Williams. If you remember, back in the Grove, I rode with him when I was a beat officer. He went from patrol to a PST officer. We're gonna ride with him today, see what the PST officers do, and check out Brickle. It's a beautiful area. It is, give me a lot of fun. All right, let's go. Hey, am I going to be a partner today or we got Mickey over here? Mickey's always my partner, but we can go ahead and have you squeeze in. All right, so we got, uh, we're riding three man today. <laughs> <laughs> so before we head out, the number one thing, most important thing to do is... Coffee. Got to get that coffee in. Got to get that coffee. Now we can start our day. That's it, ready to go. You, you have a, an address, maybe I can help you out. Yes, this is the address. I have to go back there. You gotta keep going straight down. You're gonna go two two blocks over. And from first to North East Second Avenue. If you're gonna put it Instagram it, Imagine. You're you gonna be on YouTube. What's your name? Emmanuel, and I am a proud citizen of America. That's Imagine it. Imagine INC. You can always Instagram it. You have to say the less. I trust these guys. Would you trust them? Remember, it's just a few hands of them. And a lot of you. So don't feel threatened by them. Just help them to help you to help us. Well That's said. it. Well, well said. said. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Alright well. brother, take care. So Brickle PST. PST stands for Problem solving team. PSTs are all throughout the different net areas in the city. They focus on the specific concerns of the net area. Every PST is different. Every PST has their little thing. What is the role of a PST officer in Brickle? So not only do we uh, assist with handling issues in the community, uh, but we do a lot of the legwork for the investigators to go ahead and try to close cases quicker. A pedestrian was just hit in front of uh, Mary Brickle Village, so we're going to go ahead and check that out and assist the officer that's going to be doing the report. Uh, I don't know the extent of the injuries. Uh, doesn't sound too bad because they don't have us in emergency mode, uh, but you, you never know with, uh, with those type of calls. So the call came out as a pedestrian hit over here in front of uh, Brickell Heights. Uh, the PSA was the one that was dispatched and we came to assist. The, uh, the driver of the vehicle stated that she was uh, entertained on her phone, uh, putting an address in the GPS because she wasn't from here. And all of a sudden she heard someone screaming and a guy uh, flailing on the floor. Uh, we just pulled up to a traffic stop with uh, 
one of the guys that's on the PST team, uh, Ray, uh, Officer Diaz. We're here with Officer Diaz, Brickle PST problem solving team, and that's my partner Williams, which you guys have met earlier in the video. What did we just see? We saw you on a traffic stop. Basically, she committed a, a moving violation, pulled her over, asked her for her driver's license, registration, uh, and insurance. You know, we go through the protocols of running the person and making sure the motor scooter is not reported stolen. Everything came Everything back. Everything was good. Everything was good. And so I just wrote up the citations, explained it to her, how to proceed on taking care of it, and educated her on the reason why behind it so that she doesn't commit it again. All right, now I see something on your chest. So this is our body-worn camera, uh, basically just for transparency between us and the citizens of the community that we protect and serve. All right, 15s, we're gonna continue our journey with PST. All right, so the PST team, they crossed over, they're doing a laser detail. Uh, basically, we're out here um, to promote safety, especially for our, our cyclists and our runners. This is a very popular route that everybody takes uh, to go into the Rickenbacker Causeway. We get a lot of complaints from our citizens, especially the ones in the neighborhood that live here on this street. Uh, and so that's why we're out here enforcing the speed limit. So I just pulled over a vehicle. The speed limit here is 30 miles an hour, and uh, with the laser, I got them going 40, so you can see it here. How do these lasers work? So the lasers are, are more accurate than radar. Uh, radar, uh, it's getting multiple vehicles at, at a time. Uh, laser, it's getting a single vehicle. So if you can't say, no, it was the car next to me, it was you know the person going in the opposite direction, it was you. Stopping you. This zone here, it's a 30 mile per hour zone, okay? You're going You're gonna be pushed a warning, okay? So, it's just a warning, okay? You don't, you're not getting the tickets, it's just a Now, during the traffic details, usually the sergeants come out to check on the guys, make sure everything's okay. We have been receiving a lot of complaints from the uh, from the residents for uh, for stating. Sarge, uh, I know you must have heard already. We have some disturbing news from Broward. The the Broward Sheriff's Office put out a tweet about an active shooter. I don't know if you're you're aware that they uh, have him, the person in custody now. Yes, yeah, sometimes I want to express our uh, condolences to uh, to everybody that was involved. Uh, directly and indirectly in Broward since this incident. If you're in Brickell and God forbid there's an active shooter, these are your guys that will respond. They're gonna to go to the school. They have safety measures in place. Also, uh, they're aware of all the uh, schools in the area, all the parks, all the, uh, the buildings in the event. Unfortunately, uh, there's an active shooter uh, incident. They will immediately respond to, uh, to the location. This looks like a regular tactical vest, but what's the side of it that makes it special and different than oh. a regular bulletproof vest? Inside we have the active shooter steel plates. Three steel plate, pure solid steel. And you just put that on top of usually the regular vest, right? And we put, yeah, right over. All right, Sarge, so tell me a little bit of your role. I know there's a difference between patrol sergeant and a PSC sergeant. So what's your role here in Brickell? We work with the community on a weekly basis. Uh, we address all of the concerns. Uh, starting from traffic, and that's why we're here today uh, with my officers conducting traffic enforcement in the area. Also, we address any other concerns when it comes to burglary, uh, uh, thefts, uh, graffiti. Once we receive a complaint, we immediately make contact with the person filing this complaint. We'll listen to the concerns. We'll come out with uh, an action plan to effectively address the concern and leave long-term solutions in place. All right, we're in the car with Officer Rodriguez. We're headed to Brickell City Center. If you don't know, Brickell City Center is the big 
big, big mall that was just built in the core, in the core of Brickle. Yeah, Brickle has uh, the roads area, which is mainly residential. And then uh, we have the core, which is composed of high rises, all the restaurants, clubs. Uh, our businesses, uh, they're like stakeholders, you know, we, we uh, basically that's what people come here and, uh, you know, enjoy the restaurants, the shopping, stuff like that. So it's very important for us as police officers to create a relationship with these stakeholders, whether it be the owner or the management or the representative for the business and uh, hear out their concerns, what problems they're having. You know, we definitely do our periodic checks. We walk around and, you know, we definitely address those issues if they have any. All right, 15s, we just got here to Brickle City Center. I'm with the PST team. I'm with Sergeant Valdez. He's going to introduce us to one of the beat officers here in the area. What's up, Ray? What's going on, Sarge? How you doing? Good, good. You know Officer Giordano? Yes, sir. We go way back. What's up, brother? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Good, good, good. Nice bike here, man. All right, well, basically, we got a retail theft that occurred last week at uh, Hugo Boss. Uh, it's one of the stores here in Brickle City Center, which I patrol. And uh, we're just going to go follow up with them. Uh, we were able to, do, to re recover the item. Uh, they took it out of the store. The guy ran out. He dropped it. Uh, we actually got a picture of the guy, a video. So we're going to go up with them and follow up and see if, uh, you know, they have any questions or if they need anything from us as, as far as or any service from us. So, All right. For the so, commander. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, All oh, right. My car. Thank Happy you. Valentine's Day, guys. This Brickle City Center is really, really, really nice. If you're a tourist and you come into Miami, definitely come check this place out. It's in the core of Brickle. Lots of places to shop, lots of places to eat. It's beautiful. Here is Maria. Hi. She is a, she's a uh, Hugo Boss employee. She was actually here last week when the theft occurred. So you work directly with Officer Goyos when you're here? All the time. All the yes. time. He's the guy we rely on. That's it. It's important, that interaction. She's, she's my homegirl. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so an officer that works in Brickle and you see them walking around with a yellow shirt, know that those are the beat officers. They're going to ride around on bicycles. You're going to see them interacting with the merchants and dealing with the tourists. They're very, very visible. That's why they wear the yellow shirts for the high visibility. Our PSC team works directly with them when it comes to the businesses. They relay a lot of information to the PSC team and our sergeant makes sure that he bridges that gap so that the follow-ups can take place as it was done in the Hugo Boss store. How long has the, the mall been open? The mall's been open, uh, Geo, probably uh, since November of 2016. Uh, we got about 120 stores open right now. Uh, there's still a lot of stores to be open. Uh, a lot of restaurants are already opened up in the fourth floor and uh, it's getting busy. You can tell it's Valentine's Day, there's people out here shopping. Oh, this is a nice store. We got the Apple store here. Yeah, this is the Apple store, the only one in the city of Miami. You got a little bit of everything. You got some sushi, you got some tacos, and you got some dining movies. So whatever you guys want, this is it right here. Come on out. There you go, you guys on the block. So 15s, as you can see, the city center is a beautiful place. It's in Brickell, but I want to highlight the beat officer. This is what a beat officer does. They interact with the neighborhood that they patrol in. They get to know the businesses in and out. As you see Officer Goyles, he says hello to people. He knows them on a first-hand basis. That is the role of a beat officer. All right, so Officer Goyles, for those that are going to come visit, right. how long is this mall open until? The retail hours are open from 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. And the restaurants are open till later. Uh, we got a few restaurants like you just saw upstairs. I know the movie theater stays open late. Obviously, they got the 12 o'clock show. But there's also La Centrale is open up. It's going to be a three-story marketplace. It's going to be amazing. Cool. That's going to be open until about 12 o'clock. And weekend's a little later. You guys should definitely go yeah. check that out. Opening up this weekend. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it is. Try that out. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so 15s, this is the mall. You saw Brickle, you saw the PST team. We're gonna go catch up with them real quick. I know they got a detail they need to do tonight, so I can't hold them up any longer. Let's go say goodbye to them. All right, Sarge, 
I want to thank you for coming out. Well, thank you. Once again, I want to thank Officer Gores out here for showing us the city center. If you guys see them, interact with them, see something, say something, and don't forget to like, share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe.